DOA's name is Sid Maxwell. The neighbor came home at 3 a.m., saw the door propped open. Almost had a heart attack when he saw the body. What do we got, a sex mishap? If it was erotic asphyxia, he miscalculated. No fluids. He lost consciousness too soon. The guy could have saved himself just by standing up. Pushing the limits is part of the thrill, but if you take it a little too far. No happy ending. These look like tights. Double knotted. He was supposed to have done this himself. He could have tied his hands in front, then stepped over them, like this. I'm just speculating. It's not from experience. <laughs> Good. There was a photo shoot going on. Tripod, no camera. Here's the photographer's name. Yeah. Looks like he missed the best shot. Sid and I met when I was working three jobs and sharing a loft with six roommates. He hired me on the spot. Hired you to do what exactly? Hold up. Anything Sid wanted. Working in the store, modeling. Spotting for him, doing S&M sessions. Sid said he wanted to try something new. I didn't want to seem like a prude. He just wanted me to watch. So did you? I told him I had to go get cigarettes at the store. I was weirded out. I just went home. So you just left him hanging there with his hands tied behind his back? No. His hands were not tied when I left. Did any of his staff have complaints? Yeah. There was this one girl. She got pretty freaked out. I think she sued him. That son of a bitch. He pulled my top off at a photo shoot at the St. Patrick's Day Parade. No warning, just, oops, you're naked. And that was more than what you bargained for. My job description didn't say get raped by leprechauns. Sid's lawyer said I should have understood I was working in a highly sexualized environment. That sounds like you had a good case. We'll never know. Sid's lawyers buried my guy in so many motions I couldn't afford to keep going. I lost Sid one. When was the last time you saw Mr. Maxwell? I don't know, six months? No contact after that. I told myself the one good thing was I'd never have to hear his voice again. And I didn't. No match. Prints on the car don't belong to Bonnie Almond. Do they match anyone we know? You got a dozen hits uh, for a guy named Todd Bissell. He's a perp that uh, was arrested for public lewdness 12 years ago. Okay. The, uh, two S's? Yeah. Mr. Bissell, am I nuts, or is that Sid Maxwell with a mustache? 12 years ago, lean and hungry. He must have changed his name when he became the underwear king. Okay, let's see what else he was up to as Todd Bissell. What's that? Uh, Flashposse.net, a site dedicated to writing social wrongs. Is he typing on that with both hands? Yeah, and Flash Posse is mad. This idiot veered into my lane on the FDR today. He was texting while driving. I could have been killed. Look at this one from Freddie Six in Long Island. Somebody needs to kill him before he does kill someone. I know who it was. Hmm. I identified the car and model from its dashboard and then hacked into DMV records for every 79 Mercedes that color in New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut. I found one that is registered to someone named Todd Bissell. Mm -hmm. They posted his address, 326 Bowery, apartment 11A, in case anybody wants to drop by and teach this jerk some manners. Somebody did. It's not a blog. It's a forum for corrective social action. Yeah, well, it struck me like a well chum shark tank. Look, if somebody lets their dog crap on the sidewalk, that's an offense to everybody that walks by, right? This is just a way of striking back. So you take a picture of the owner, find out who they are, post their address and phone number. So people can tell them what they think. If they shove dog crap in our faces, they can take a phone call. Hmm. How do you get this information? Flashposse.net has thousands of visitors. Between us, we have a lot of expertise, a lot of connections. In China, they call it a human flesh search engine. Yeah, there was a woman there. She posted a video of herself stepping on a kitten and killing it. Just her shoe and the kitten. <clears throat> people blew up the video. They found out where the shoe came from. They identified a building in the background. They found out who it was. She lost her job, she had to go into hiding. You feel bad for her? I don't. We're here about a man named Todd Bissell, and as far as I know, he didn't massacre any cats. Bissell's just as bad. Do you know how dangerous texting while driving is? Yeah, somebody should kill this guy. From your website. I didn't realize it deserved the death penalty. You never heard of hyperbole, detective? It wasn't hyperbole. Todd Bissell was murdered. 
Under his other name, Sid Maxwell. And you think we had something to do with that? Well, we'd like the names of your members who posted threats against Mr. Vessel. No. Hmm. We are the police, Mr. Leary. And it's our job to take corrective social action. No. All right. Flashposse.net. Detective Kevin Bernard, call and tell him what you think. Oh, they even posted your cell phone number. Thoughtful. My unlisted number. Somebody hacked it. Corrective social action. New post coming in. This cop bully should be ashamed of himself. You know, if we were set up right, we could trace these messages as they're posted. That's when the links are open. So we wouldn't need a subpoena. Just a big, juicy target to get the ranchers ranting. What about Lupo? He's juicy. <laughs> Thank you, but four years in Intel, we don't want anyone digging through that. Plus, you seem to be the one they like, Detective. Uh, okay, w w what's my screen name? Detective Bernard. We want them to know it's you. All right. My first duty is to arrest criminals who hide behind bogus free speech. Mm, nice. All right. Looking good. You know how to piss them off. My special talent. <laughs> Any of these screen names match the people who threatened Sid Maxwell? Uh, yeah. One or two. Hit him again. You're cowards and you're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, we are matching, matching, tracing, tracing. Oh, they hate you, B. They really hate you. I see. I am so embarrassed. Some of the things I wrote about that man my language was inappropriate. Well, frankly, Miss Sands, you don't seem like the type. I know. It's just... Three years ago, my daughter was killed by a taxi driver who was texting. I'm so sorry. They never caught him. And when I saw the photo of that man texting, not even looking at the road, some other child could have been hurt. Maybe I can look into what happened to your daughter. That would be... Thank you. So is there anything else? No, no. We have your, your name and your address. Thank you for your concern. Lieutenant, that information you requested. Thanks. Miss Sands. If you don't mind, could you come back and sit for a minute. We checked accident reports from three years ago, and there was no report involving a taxi and a child. I saw it happen. And you do have a daughter, but she didn't die. Social services took her away from you because you offered her to a Catholic church as a human sacrifice. I don't believe in human sacrifices. Ms. Sands, were you at Mr. Maxwell's apartment Friday night? He was getting messages from the devil. Who was? Mr. Maxwell? Not just him. He tells them whom to kill. Who tells who whom to kill? Mr. Maxwell? The devil? May I please see a lawyer now? <laughs> 